Yo, what's up guys, it's Marble here. I've been getting tons of requests to see my render settings, so here I am showing you my render settings. So I just threw together um, some text. It doesn't look that great, but let's just go with it for the tutorial. Um, let's just make this quick. Um, go to your, the third tab. These three middle tabs are the, the one all the way on the right. Render settings. Um, general, always keep that in full render um, width. I like to have it at 1920, oh wait, hang on, the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 and make sure this is on pixels and the reason I have it to not like 1280 by 720, the reason I have it like this big is so when you open it into Photoshop the picture is really big so if you have to make it like, if you have to resize it, it'll be really high quality because it's really big already so that's always good. Um, save. You're gonna um, go to just wherever you want it. Pick somewhere. Um, I'm not gonna do that since I'm not rendering this out. But you, all you have to do is go to desktop or wherever you want and click save. I'm clicking cancel for now. Um, format, format, PNG. Keep always keep that on PNG. And alpha channel. Lots of people. Um, I'm not sure. Like I haven't seen people do this, but I've heard that people do this which um, they don't use alpha channel and what alpha channel does is it pretty much pretty much renders out the whole picture but the background so it renders out the whole like the whole text but the background so it's all transparent and some people just pen tool their text out which that I don't see a need for that when you can just use alpha channel um, always keep alpha channel multi pass you don't do anything in there um, anti analyzing put that to best and then put still image and I see people bump this up to like 16 by 16 you don't want to do that, it doesn't do anything to the quality like it says it does but it doesn't it just makes the render setting, I mean the render a lot longer so you're going to want to put 4x4 1 by 1, 1, by one 4x4 um, options, keep that all the default you don't have to change anything there and this little black bar right here move that up to so it glides right along the box is right there. I'm not sure why I do that, but like it makes it look good, <laughs> and that's what we want. So, um, global illumination is the next effect that you want. You're gonna go to um, the second box and put. It should be on medium, but I already changed it for a default. So you're gonna want to change medium to high, and I don't do this all the time, but you can go down and do effects again and go to color correction. Um, I don't do that, like I said, all the time, but we'll just do it for now. I'll show you my settings for color correction. Um, contrast, put that to 15. If you want lots of color correction, I'd say put it to 20, 25, somewhere around there. And then saturation. Um, sometimes I do 5, sometimes I do 0. I'll put 5 for now. And that looks it, guys. If you have any tutorials, please send your request in. Um, follow me on Twitter and and like my Facebook page and which I want you to do is go over to my friend's channel Mimsy Style he's my best friend on, for doing GFX and please go sub subscribe to him um, like I said he's amazing go check out his stuff and I guess that's it guys peace